<laughs> In this episode, we will talk about the Nash equilibrium from the perspective of physics. Let's enjoy it. The Nash equilibrium became very famous and popular after the movie Beautiful Mind, where Russell Crowe interpreted the brilliant mathematician John Nash, who discovered the Nash equilibrium an important result in science economy, which deserved and got the Nobel Prize in 1994. The Nash equilibrium was discovered inside the scenario of game theory, or decision theory more generally. We can visualize the Nash equilibrium as the ground state of a system, created by the multiple choices of two participants given some specific situation. Let's explore this issue in deeper detail. The decisions taken by the different participants inside game theory normally appears inside a matrix called decision matrix. The pair of numbers represent the payoff for each participant. In this matrix, N and F are the two possible choices for each participant. For each entry of the decision matrix, the first number represents the payoff for the player 1, while the second number represents the payoff, but this time for player 2. Let's analyze now the steps necessary to follow in order to find the Nash equilibrium given a decision matrix. Let's start with this example with two players. For each column corresponding to the possible decisions taken by player 2, select the highest possible payoff for player 1. For each row corresponding to the decisions of player 1, select the highest possible payoff corresponding to player 2. Then finally the intersection of both set of decisions mentioned previously corresponds to the Nash equilibrium. Let's take a look at some examples. The first example is the prisoner's dilemma, which consists in the capture of two prisoners which were found committing a crime in some specific scene. They are both being interrogated in separated rooms. Let's take a look at the possible choices which they have. This is the decision matrix for this problem. The first number corresponds to the number of years which the prisoner one will spend in prison. The second number corresponds to the number of years which the second player would spend in prison depending on the decisions they make. The letter M means monk, it means keep it silent. The second letter F means think, it means exposing the partner. If they expose the partner or cooperate with the justice, their penalty will be reduced by one year. In general, they are being accused by two crimes but the police only have evidence of one of the crimes, as that's why they will spend some years in prison no matter they expose their partner or not. If we follow the previous method for finding the Nash equilibrium, then we will know that a good lawyer would suggest the prisoners to expose their corresponding partners. This will not save them from prison, but at least they will not pay the highest possible penalty which is five years. Not exposing the partner gives the advantage to your partner because he could expose you and the game could then finish with your partner spending only one year in prison while you're spending five years. There are situations where we will find more than a Nash equilibrium, as it appears in the screen. In these situations, whether one equilibrium or the other is selected, is a matter of random choice. Imagine the situation where Alex and Chris are a couple and they are far away from each other in the middle of the city. There is no way how they can communicate and they have to guess where the couple goes. They have two options, opera and football. Chris loves the football while Alex loves the opera. 
then if they don't meet in the venue, they will have a zero payoff. What do you think is the right Nash equilibrium in this situation? It comes out that there are two possible Nash equilibrium as it appears on the screen if there is no dominant person. This is equivalent to having two possible growing states, exactly as it occurs in some situations in physics. Selecting one state or the other depends on some random fluctuations, which will depend on Chris and Alex's intuition. The movie Beautiful Mind portrays a scene where John Nash gets the inspiration in order to achieve this important equilibrium condition. Let's take a look at the scene and please make your own conclusions about it. They block each other. Not a single one of us is going to get her. So then we go for her friends. But they will all give us the cold shoulder because nobody likes to be second choice. But what if no one goes for the blonde? We don't get in each other's way, and we don't insult the other girls. If you'd like to review our preliminary data, Roger. If you like this video, please give us a like, share the link.